Hey everybody, I tried the water. It's not champagne, it's vlogging day 718. Wednesday, so you know, off to a rock rolling Thursday for you. I hope you're enjoying it. I hit, I hooked my toe on like the corner. You know when your uh, door is open and the edge of it's there by the hinge. Got my pinky toe on that just barely last night, and it still hurts, and it's got a bruise that goes like straight under the nail. And that, that was not not my favorite thing in the world. But aside from that, I'm doing okay. Yesterday I was kind of miserable. Wasn't having a great a, a great time yesterday evening. I don't know, just just kind of feeling the weight of the tiredness and everything else. But I'm feeling better this morning. I figured we'd go try a new coffee shop today. It's called O Coffee. My buddy Yannick had it listed on her blog as being a fun one. And it's just gonna be a quick metro ride or two away. So we could go there, get a little bit of work done. I, what I wanted to do when I woke up, I thought I need to find like donuts, good donuts in Paris. It's a terrible idea. I mean, really shouldn't do that, but it's kind of tempting. So we might have to do that at some point too. And Speaking of food, if you haven't voted on the food poll on Patreon, the first food poll of the month is always public. So even if you're not a patron yet, you can go ahead and jump on that. Wow, the sun is really coming out. Jeez, it's pretty cloudy this morning, but that's changing. So head on over, I'll link below. You can vote on a Mexican place that I'm gonna go this week. There's one in particular that I really wanna try, but I, I did my best not to tip my hand on which one that would be. Uh, so good luck figuring out which one it is, but if you'd like to dictate where I go get some Mexican food this week, then go ahead and vote on that. In the meantime, I'm gonna go hop on the Metro and uh, get some coffee and get some work done. Oh, yeah, maybe you should come with me. New bus stop. That was very tasty. I've been wanting Eggs Benedict for a really long time and I had no idea where to find it, didn't know they would have it. I was just gonna get like a pastry or something simple, but I couldn't resist. <sighs> it was tasty. Interesting to have Eggs Benedict on like a slice of bread like that. I don't know, it's very different. Not that I'm an expert on Eggs Benedict by any means, I'm kind of a neophyte, but still, it was tasty. Okay, so the coffee was good. They're serving KB coffee there, which is nice. Always love KB's coffee and uh, it's not exactly, they were nice enough to let me use my laptop. I had to move over to the bar uh, for the lunch hour, but they don't have Wi-Fi and I get the feeling that they wouldn't normally allow a lot of laptop activity. So if you're going in there to work, like I'm always trying to work, may not be the best spot for it, but I would recommend that for brunch. Oh, coffee shop. It was tasty. And between Oh, coffee shop, and Good News Coffee, or Good News Coffee Shop, Fox's Place. The 15th actually is starting to have some good coffee, which is nice, because I generally would say that this neighborhood has nothing going on. Definitely a good switch. Anywho, this brings us back to the classic problem of where do I go to work now? And also, did I, I'm walking in the wrong direction, aren't I? Dang it. had to go up the escalator twice to get that one. All right, now I'm gonna go up the proper escalator in the direction I actually wanna go. Oh, 
I wanted to go check, apparently, rumor has it, and they're not advertising this, you can get reimbursed for your Navigo for two months because of the grev, the strike. So I went to check with those guys and they said you have to go to SNCF to have it done, which makes sense because it was SNCF that went on strike, but I need to go to a major train station and go see if I can't get myself some money back for my Navigo. It'd be great. So if you live in Paris and you have a Navigo and you uh, were living here during the strike and you paid for your Navigo that whole time, Check it out. Of course, there are more disturbances happening in the near future. Strike is supposed to be over now, but uh, I was just looking on the website and they've got more stuff happening this weekend. It's just never ending. Also, happy 4th of July. If you didn't catch yesterday that I had a, uh, you know, well, I guess this morning, yesterday, you know what I mean, that there was a little bit of an Easter egg of a happy 4th of July in there. Hopefully you caught it, but uh, today is actually the 4th of July and I'm grateful for the privileges and rights afforded to me by those who came before me and sacrificed for them. And I hope that they're maintained and kept into the future. I need to find some lunch. Uh, I've got a lot of work done this morning, mostly dumb work. Didn't get a lot of writing done. I'm on the verge of feeling recuperated and like ready to really roll again here soon, but not 100% there yet. So close, very close. We'll get some lunch and then, uh, ooh, I need to go for a run. Like these guys are going for a run. I thought I would come back and uh, see how unpleasant the room is, but it's actually surprisingly comfortable in here. So not great. Turn on the fan though, and I think I'll be set. I'm gonna try and get some work done here for a bit. I'm gonna go get a sandwich really quickly. I'll come back here. One of the things that I'm trying to get accomplished today is mailing out the rest of the posters. This, I got this tube from Nikolai. It's way oversized. Like it needs to be like half this size. But hey, free tube. Hopefully the uh, French Postal Service doesn't penalize me for having such a big tube to send. So, I would like to get these sent out by the end of this week. For sure, the European poster owners, all the American ones are gone, and one Canadian one, so hopefully I can get the European ones out, and that would be good. It is kind of warm in here, I'm starting to sweat a little bit, but I was walking outside, so that can be part of it. Mm -mm. I just want to make sure that I'm on top of everything, that I really know what's going on, before I start doing other stuff. There's some opportunities that have come up. Before I accept those and go for it, I want to make sure that I know what's happening. I also, as I look over the cost of the couch, and I think I'm just going to wait. I don't want to rush it. I want to make sure I get the right couch. I do want to get a good couch, a nice couch. Like, that's absolutely what I want to do. No more thrift store, blah, gross stuff. There aren't even really many thrift stores around here. There are a couple spots I probably could go, but it's going to turn into a lot of running around just trying things out, hoping that there's nothing hidden. I, I just want to have my own couch. And it's been nice. Thank you for all the supportive comments on that video. It, you know, I think everybody knows there comes a point where you just want to have your own stuff. And uh, I don't own much. I'm like the definition of a minimalist, but to a fault. I have a really hard time buying anything. Like even buying a, a second pair of shorts, which I need to do, is going to be a painful thing to do this week when I get to it. And that's another fun thing we can talk about later this week. National sales are back on, so it's the right time to buy them if you're going to buy them. All that to say, I'm not, I'm not a very good consumer. Uh, I, I'm not a consumer at all. Which makes, actually makes me, it's really hard for me to buy anything. Especially after, again, this whole transition. Like, can I afford to get a couch? Maybe, might be pushing it. Might wanna wait a little bit to make sure. But do I need one? Would I use it? Would it be a good thing? Yes. So we're getting there. We're absolutely getting there. Thank you for those of you who've been very patient and supportive in the midst of this funk. Uh, the funk is partially due to just traveling and being exhausted. A lot of it's like residual. My dad keeps sending me texts to remind me it's gonna take me a couple months to get over all of the years of stress that I've been under. And you know, it's, it's, it's been a long road, but thank you for uh, those of you who've been with me through it. For those of you who are new to the channel and have no idea what I'm talking about, I've got like two years of my life documented, lots of stress back behind me. So feel free to go uh, enjoy that whenever you, uh, you know, have a moment. In the meantime, I'm gonna go sweat some more and uh, walk and get a sandwich and then, you know, back to work we go. I missed the sandwich that I want. I wanted the Henri Quatre. <laughs> I don't even speak this language anymore. The Henry IV Henri Quatre. It's like kind of my favorite sandwich that in Paris right now, these guys make it and they all sold out. This is what you get for having a late lunch. Anyways, they'll figure this out eventually. It's like a chicken sandwich with a zesty sweet sauce that's got onions and it's tomatoes and deliciousness and missed it. Oh well. Anyways, I mean what we're talking about. Let's just I'll just get I'll just get some work done and then we'll figure it out from there. Slim pickings everywhere today. Jeez. That was gonna be a productive day. I can feel it. I need to put on some sunscreen because I'm gonna go outside and join some friends for a little 4th of July celebration that I just found out about. It's my plan. No idea what all that's gonna entail, but it's on the Champ de Mars, so that means we'll get a nice time lapse of the Eiffel Tower out of it, if nothing else. And then we'll probably call it quits for the evening. I really do think tomorrow's gonna be a good one. 
Thanks again for putting up with me as I get myself together. I'm not gonna be fully 100% for a while, I know that, but I'm trying to do the best, take care of myself, take it one day at a time, and uh, work back towards, you know, a high level of sanity and functionality. But in the meantime, you know, let's go celebrate the 4th of July with no fireworks, but hopefully a beer, maybe a hot dog, but at least definitely, for sure, a beer. <laughs>